Notre rassemblement d'aujourd'hui n'est pas vis-à-vis d'un être humain. It's a gathering unto him. Amen. Le rassemblement au nom de Jésus. That is able. C'est lui qui est capable. A gathering unto him that is the maker of heaven. Nous rassemblons réunion aujourd'hui envers lui qui est capable. A gathering unto him. He is the possessor. When I heard you say the mighty God, I say yes indeed. He is the possessor of the Dieu puissant. He is the mighty God. Un Dieu puissant. And we worship him thus. Et nous l'adorons ce matin. Amen. 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 Please clap before His presence. I wanted to bring my sincere gratitude to my home church. Because this church is my home church. Hallelujah. You guys were there when I needed you the most. When I didn't know who to run to. My home church was there. Pastor Helen, thank you so much. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being there. Thank you for standing with me. Thank you, my brother. I don't know how you did it all. All the instruments. I don't know how you carried it. But thank you. The Lord to reward every man Hallelujah. accordingly yeah. I am asking that the Lord will reward you all yeah. thank you Amen. the scripture that always comes to my mind is the scripture that says when you give a prophet a cup of water you will reap a prophet reward and my prayer that you will reap it in Jesus name Amen. Amen. For those of you that were not able to be there, but stood with me in the spirit, Amen. I appreciate you so much. Amen. It was a great event. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord visited us. The Lord showed up. Amen. And showed himself strong in our behalf. Amen. Amen. Today we are looking at the grace of His presence. Amen. The grace of His presence. La grâce de la présence de l'Éternel. Talking about the grace of God, sometimes people say that it's unmerited favor. Quand nous parlons de la grâce de Dieu, il y a des gens qui disent que c'est une faveur que nous n'avons pas méritée. But my own definition of grace. Ma propre définition de la grâce. Is the power. C'est le pouvoir. The enablement. Le pouvoir qui peut être capable. The ability to do. L'habilité de faire. The grace of God is the power of God. La grâce de Dieu c'est la puissance de Dieu. Given unto us. Qui nous a été donnée. The enablement given unto us. C'est la capacité qui nous a été donnée. And the ability to do. That Et l'habilité de faire. Ce que Dieu a envers nous. May the Lord help us today. Que l'Éternel nous guide aujourd'hui. May the Lord give us understanding today. Que l'Éternel nous donne la compréhension aujourd'hui. As we pray as a church, Lord, we lift up our heart unto you. Nous venons mettre nos souffrances à toi. And Lord, we ask that you speak. Nous demandons à ce que tu parles. As a vessel standing in front of your people. Tu es une vaisselle devant ton peuple. May you flow through me. Que vous parmi que vous naviguez dans moi. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Let every word of mine give way. 
Que tu parole de ma bouche. And let your word, O Lord, come in. Que ta parole vienne. For we know that the letter kill it. Parce que nous savons la lettre. But your word give life. Tu mets la parole donne la vie. Illumine your word today. Illumine ta parole aujourd'hui. Unto your people. À ton peuple. And bring life. Et apporte la vie. And bring change. Apporte les changements. In Jesus name. Au nom de Jésus. Amen. 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 Nous allons dans Psalm 45. <coughs> Verse 2. Le deuxième verset de Psalm 45. Talking about the grace of God. Amen. Parlons de la grâce de Dieu. Psalm 45. Psalm 45. Verse 2. Verse 2. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm trying to find my scripture. Essaye de trouver le verset biblique. You are fairer than the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. You are fairer. That means you are different than other sons of men. Why are you different? Because the grace of God is poured upon your spirit, upon your lips. That means when you speak, you speak differently, not because of your intelligence, not because of your brilliancy, but because of the grace of God that is upon you. Alléluia, la grâce de l'éternel est sur nous. Ça signifie que quand nous parlons, notre bouche sort des choses qui sont différentes. Non seulement comme le monde, mais cela est la grâce de l'éternel qui est dans nos bouches. Amen. Amen. Zechariah, the Zachary. book of Zechariah, Zachary, chapter 12, chapitre 12, talking about the grace, parlons de la grâce, of Amen. his presence, de la présence de l'éternel, and we're looking at what that grace means to us or how we acquire that grace, que cela signifie la grâce de l'éternel et comment nous pouvons avoir la grâce de l'éternel, going to chapter 12, verse 10, chapitre 12, verse 10, he says, and I will pour on the house of David, Et je sur la maison de David and the inhabitants of Israel, of Jerusalem, les habitants de Jerusalem, the spirit of grace, Amen. Amen. La grâce, and supplication, Amen. Et la supplication. then they will look on me, et me I will stop right there. He says, I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants. And we know that we are the descendants of David. He said, I will pour out on them what? The spirit of grace. So Amen. grace is also a spirit. When, when we talk about that, the grace of God is the power of God. The grace of God is the spirit of God. La grâce yes. de Dieu, c'est l'esprit de Dieu. And the grace of God is not given to unbelievers, but it's given to believers. Amen. La grâce de Dieu n'est pas donnée aux non-croyants, elle est donnée aux croyants. My Bible made me to understand that He said, I will pour out the spirit, my spirit, the spirit of grace and supplication to what? The descendant of David. We are the descendant, the inhabitant of Amen. David. Amen. Je mettrai mon esprit sur les descendants de David. Nous sommes les descendants de David. No wonder a, a, an intercessor can begin to pray in the midst of every burden in their life. But once the spirit of grace falls upon them, you can pray for hours, not knowing how you can pray for so long. Or you can study the word for hours, not knowing how you can study the word for hours. But it's because the grace of God has been released upon you at that particular hour. Quand nous prions, nous lisons la Bible avec un temps illimité, c'est la grâce de l'Éternel qui a été donnée sur nous. Amen. 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 The grace of God is that power that enables you, that gives you the ability to do whatever it is that you can do. La grâce de Dieu, c'est la puissance qui te donne l'habilité de faire tout ce que tu peux faire. It's often said, and that you can write this down because I love it so much, that grace of God is what makes a man Function without struggling. La grâce de l'Éternel, c'est ce qui fait que l'homme ne peut pas combattre sans tomber. The grace makes a man or a woman to function without struggling. La grâce de l'Éternel rend que l'être humain peut fonctionner sans combattre, sans être, sans difficulté. I don't know about you. There's sometimes that in the life of a believer, 
that you know you want to pray and you come before him, you find yourself that you're struggling. But once that grace falls upon you, you begin to pray like it's your drinking water. That's the grace of God that comes Amen. upon you. You know that you cannot do, you cannot do, you cannot do things, even those things that are given to you as a gift. And somehow you find yourself struggling. But once the grace of God falls upon you, you see yourself doing it without Amen. any struggle. That is grace. Il faut en bien pour prier, mais on a un temps difficile pour prier. Mais dès que la grâce de Dieu vient sur nous, cela nous donne la possibilité de commencer à prier sans arrêt automatiquement. Ça, c'est la grâce de Dieu. Amen. Amen. Alléluia. Let's look at the book of Luke. Allons dans les livres de Luke, chapter two. Saint Luc, chapitre 10. Luke, chapter 2. Le chapitre 2. Let's go to verse 40. Verset 40. He says, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, <coughs> filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Mm. There's something interesting right there that I wanted to pick up. He says that this child grew. He would have stopped there, but he didn't stop there. And he said the child grew and became strong in the spirit. La Bible dit un enfant croissé, il ne s'est pas arrêté là, mais la soeur croissé, il devient très fort en esprit. That would have, that would have been it. The child has grown. The child is strong, right? In the spirit, yes. It, it should have stopped there. This child is grown. This child is very strong. But guess what he said? He also filled in wisdom. Il a ôté. L'enfant ne s'est pas arrêté à la croissance physique, mais il a ôté aussi rempli de sagesse. But the Lord knows that it will not stop there. It's not enough to have that wisdom. It's not enough to have that strength. But he needed the enablement. He needed that grace to help me put in what he has inside of him. We all need the grace of God upon our talents. Nous avons tous besoin de la grâce de Dieu dans nos dons. We all need the grace of God upon our gifts. Nous avons plus la grâce de Dieu dans nos dons et nos talents. The gift that we have is not just enough as a believer. Les dons que nous avons ne sont pas tellement suffisants. But the grace of God. Mais la grâce de Dieu. Is what propels the gift of God. Ça nous propose et propulse la les dons que Dieu nous donne. Without the grace of God, the gift of God cannot function. Sans la grâce de l'Éternel, les dons que nous avons de Dieu ne fonctionnent pas. So you understand what the grace coming from my own definition. Yes, that's the grace that I just gave you. Now let's go to the presence because we're talking about the grace of His presence. And we're talking about the presence of His grace. The presence. 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 Let me say it the way I wrote it down. The glory of God is the manifest presence of God. La gloire de Dieu est sa manifestation présente. I will repeat that. Je the répète. glory of God is la gloire de Dieu the manifest presence of God. C'est la présence manifeste de Dieu. Amen. In other words, His presence is His glory. Amen. En autre nom, la, sa présence est sa gloire. Amen. Amen. Let's look at Isaiah 45. Allons à Isaïe 45. May the Holy Spirit give us understanding. Yes. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 6. Verse 6. Isaiah 45. Amen. Isaiah 45. Verse 6. Verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting. That there is none beside me. I think I switched my scripture, but I'll find it. I'll read that. I love that. I love that scripture. I'll read it. Amen. <laughs> that they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that, that there is none beside me, for I am the Lord, and there is none. There is no other. Amen. 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 The presence of God manifests in all our five senses. Do you guys know our five senses? Amen. 
La présence de l'Éternel se manifeste dans nos cinq sens. The teacher in me is just kicking in. Amen. Can, can you guys name the five senses and I will count? Sight. 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 Hearing. 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 Smell. Smell. Touch. 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 Mouth and touch. Taste and touch. Taste and touch. The presence of God manifests in this area. La présence de Dieu se manifeste dans nos cinq sens. I will give you one. Remember when Samuel was little? On se rappelle quand Samuel était encore jeune. Hein? And Samuel was sleeping and there was a knock and there was a call. <coughs> Samuel dormait et puis il y a eu un appel. And he heard. Il a entendu l'appel. Okay. That's the sound. That's the hearing. He Ça heard the voice calling his name. L'écoute, lui, il a, sent, il a entendu la voix. Also, Peter, when Peter was told to kill and eat, that was the test. There's so many examples in the Bible. When Jesus was baptized, and a voice was heard, saying, Here is my beloved son. And people were able to see the dove. A dit, c'est celui-là et mon fils bien-aimé, et les gens ont été capables de voir un pigeon. La colombe. I will give an example with myself. Je donne un exemple que j'ai vécu moi-même. At a time, I didn't know what it is until I began to nurture myself in that area, in that gift. Je savais pas ce que cela signifie jusqu'à ce que j'ai commencé à m'entraîner dans ces domaines. The presence of God. La présence de Dieu. Talking about the presence of God, I will be inside a room. That's years ago. J'étais dans une salle et ça fait cela des années. I found that there is a notch in my spirit to wake up in the night to pray. Amen. Il y avait une envie de moi de me réveiller la nuit et de prier. And I will pray. Et je me suis levé et prié. As time goes on, it became a habit. Et je me suis dit, cela est devenu une habitude. But sometimes I'll be so tired. Mais des fois, j'étais tellement fatigué. That I'll be in my bed. Je me je dormais dans mon lit. But vie. guess what happened? Mais when we talk about the touch. Qu'est-ce qui passé? I will be in my bed and somebody will tap me on my shoulder. Je dors sur mon lit et j'entends quelqu'un. And I will jump up. And oh, there's boy. no one in my room. Je me réveille et il y a personne dans la That's the presence of God that came. Amen. La présence de I Dieu. didn't know what it was. Je savais pas que c'était cela. And sometimes. Et des fois. I will be in my room. Je suis dans ma chambre. And I will smell a fragrance. Hmm. Et je. At that time, I didn't know what it was. Je sais pas que cela c'est. And it will fill the room. Et ça remplit. And la that chambre. will cause me to wake up. Et ça me and pousse à me réveiller. Et je vais chanter et louer l'éternel. Mais quand j'ai commencé à comprendre que c'était la présence, c'était des années après. C'est après des années que je suis à comprendre que c'est la présence de l'éternel. Et je commençais à trouver cela. Que la présence de Dieu, il lui donne cette sweet smelling fragrance. La présence de l'éternel. Et quand quelque chose de mal est en train de se passer, je vais sentir cette nonsense smell. Il sera tellement foul, comme un trash smell. Et je vais être comme, qu'est-ce que c'est Qu'est-ce que c'est But when that spirit inside of me impressed, this is not a good. It's a sign. Pray against it. Amen. Quand des fois il y a une odorat comme une poubelle et je dis qu'est-ce que c'est dans mon dans mon cœur et l'esprit saint me dit ça c'est pas un bon signe. Lève-toi et prie contre cela. Amen. No wonder my son will tell me, mommy, you you smell too much. I have I have the capacity to smell like a dog. I can smell. I can sense things like crazy. Mon fils me dit, mais maman, tu sens tout le temps toutes choses. Tu sens trop. And it's just the spirit of God. That's the gift of God. C'est l'esprit de Dieu et c'est les dons de Dieu. And lately, et après cela, les années après, the presence of God, the way I feel it, and I know lately I've been crying. I said, God, where are you? I can't feel you anymore. I need to. The God comes to us in dimension and in the seasons of our life. It took two years. I began to see that the feel that we're talking about the touch, the feeling of the presence. My hands will be so hot, like I had my hand on the stove. Wherever I am, it might be in my workplace, it might be at the grocery store. I know it is there. My feet will be so. I will start feeling the heat. It will come on my legs. My hands will be so hot. Je sens la chaleur qui vient sous mes pieds, sous mes mains. At first, I didn't understand that either. Partout, je sais. Until I began to study and listen to those that are above me. Je sais à ce que je commençais. And I knew it was the presence of God. Et à parler à d'autres. And what I do as the presence of God, I said, I am welcoming you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Speak. 
What would you want me to do, Holy Spirit? And at that time, he will speak, even if I'm in the grocery store. Et je dis cela maintenant que quand ça arrive, ces sensations arrivent, je dis, Esprit Saint, parle-moi, qu'est-ce que tu as à me dire? Because of our time, I'm not going to go into Et that detail. Mais l'Esprit Saint me parle. À cause But de if temps, you need to know how God comes to me, I will share them. It's no secret. Amen. Those are one of the ways that He comes to me. La présence de Dieu parle de moi. Un autre temps, mais pour le moment, le temps est limité. But I want you to know that the presence of God comes through Après. only to the righteous. And the holy, it comes Amen. through a righteous route and a route of holiness. Amen. La présence de l'Éternel se manifeste aux saints et ceux qui sont saints et ceux qui sont justes. Let's go to the book of uh, let's take Psalms. Allons dans le livre des Psalms. Psalms 140. 140. I'm looking at our time. Je regarde le temps aussi parce que nous sommes Psalm 140. Psalm 140. The presence of God comes through righteousness and holiness. La présence de l'Éternel se manifeste. When you live a life of righteousness, when you live a life of holiness, God will come to you. Quand nous vivons la vie de la sainteté, la justice, la présence de Dieu va venir. Chapter 13. Chapter 13. Chapter 140, verse 13. 140, verse 13. Amen. The upright shall dwell in your presence. The upright, yes. you and I, Vous et the yes. upright, Jesus. the upright, Jesus. shall dwell in your presence. Yes. The presence of God yes. only comes to the upright. Yes. Who are the upright? Those that live a righteous life yes. and those that live a holy life. Alleluia. I wanted to point that out to you. The presence of God is destined to the just and to the saints. Amen. Alleluia. John 14. Jean 14. And you can read all this when you get home, please. Nous allons lire tous ces livres quand nous serons à domicile, s'il vous plaît. John 14, verse 21. Jean 14, 21. And I'm going to read it. Je lis au nom du Seigneur. He who has my commandments and keep them, it is he who loves me. Amen. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. Yes. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. I'm going to repeat that Amen. while you translate that. He who has my commandment and keeps them. C'est lui qui a mes commandements et il garde mes commandements. It is he who loves me. C'est celui-là qui m'aime. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. Et celui qui m'aime sera aimé par mon père. And I will love him. Et je l'aimerai aussi. Not just loving him, I will manifest myself to him. That's the, that's the grace of his presence. He says, I will manifest myself to him. To those that keep my commandments. To those that love me. To those that say, Thus says the Lord. To them, those are saying, this is the commandment of the Lord, I will keep that commandment. Even though it's hard for me, I will keep it. Because I want to experience his presence. Amen. He is our father. But he comes only to those that do what? Obey. Only those that obey. Amen. The presence of God is not for everyone. Amen. It's not for every believer. Amen. Don't misunderstand this. Yes, we all give our life to Christ. Yes, we all love Him. Yes, but it comes to only those that keep to His commandments. It does not come to everyone. Let me tell you something. We might be in the same church. We might be in this holy care church. We might lift up our hands and we worship him. We might lift up our hands and we pray. But if you do not keep his uh, commandments, his presence will not come. You will not experience his presence. Alléluia. Nous pouvons être à holy care. Nous sommes nombreux ici. Chacun d'entre nous est en train de louer. Mais si nous ne gardons pas ses commandements, la présence de l'éternel ne sera pas en nous. This is his word, it's not my word, it's right here. I did not say this. He is saying today, I don't know the type of life that you live. I don't know the type of life that you live at home. I don't know how your Christian work is. But he's saying, yes, you are my child. I know you are my child. Yes, I have taken you as my child. But I can only come to you and you experience me only if you are able. Hallelujah. Je ne sais pas comment vous vivez à domicile votre vie. Je ne sais pas comment vous vivez dans votre vie professionnelle, 
Mais ici, Dieu dit, tu es mon enfant, simplement, si tu es capable d'obéir mes commandements, je serai ton enfant. And you know, I wanted to buttress that fact Et je illustrer, by, by saying that sin les péchés, separate and disrupt a personal relationship. Yes. Separate, separate and la relation personnelle. Amen. 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 Genesis 3.8 Genesis 3.8 When we're talking about the presence of God being made manifest in our five senses Quand nous parlons de la présence de Dieu Manifeste dans nos cinq sens. Look at this scripture right here. Three verse eight. Dans cette verset. Three verse eight says, and they heard. Et ils ont entendu. The sound of the Lord. Ils ont entendu un son de l'Éternel. They heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden. Ils ont entendu. In the cool of the evening. La présence de l'Éternel marchait dans les jardins. And Adam and his wife hid themselves. Adam et sa femme se sont cachés. From what? They hid themselves from the presence of God. Ils sont cachés de quoi? Ils se sont, Why? Ils sont cachés de la présence de Dieu. Pourquoi? Why? Why did they hid themselves? Because they have sinned. Yes. Because they did, they did what God said do not do. Parce que ils sont péchés. The scripture we read earlier said those that keep to my commandment and obey I will. Yes, I will manifest my presence. And this one is saying that sin separate us from the presence of God. They sin, they knew, they fell short of what God said to do. And because they understood that it's a sin, they could not come to Him. And they could not receive the presence of God. Parce qu'ils ont reconnu qu'ils ont péché, ils ne pouvaient plus se rapprocher de Dieu, et ils ont rejeté la présence de Dieu. I don't know where you are today. Je ne sais pas où est-ce que vous êtes aujourd'hui. And when I was reading this scripture, et quand je lisais ces versets bibliques, inside of me, à yes. l'intérieur de moi-même, I'm saying, yeah, they realize that they have sinned. Yes, ils ont quand même admis qu'ils ont fait des péchés. If they have known they have sinned, why couldn't they just run out and say, Father, forgive us, we have yes. sinned. Why are you yes. hiding from God? Yes. His Pourquoi? word, there's no, you cannot, his word, he is what? Yeah, and amen. He can see all knowing God. He knows what you have done. He knows what sins you have committed. Who are you running? He says, the Bible says, even if I go down into the river, into the sea, Lord, you will still find me. If I go to hell, you will still see me. Yes. Where can I go that will be hidden from you? Où me cacherai je loin de toi, l'éternel, tu es partout. Pourquoi ces gens qui ont péché ne sont pas rentrés pour demander pardon? Nowhere. Yeah. Nulle part on peut se cacher de l'éternel parce qu'il sait comment nous vivons et quels les péchés que nous avons faits. Si vous êtes dans notre maison, il peut être un pasteur, il peut être un bishop, il peut être un diacre, il peut être un elder, il peut être un ancien. Anyone, a child, toute personne, même un enfant. Et vous savez que dans votre cœur, il y a quelque chose que vous avez fait. Et on reconnaît. Not even things that people call big sins. There's things that you've done, and you know that somehow your relationship with him, right about now, is not the way it's supposed to be. Don't be like Adam. Don't be like Eve. Don't hide. Don't move away from him. Come Adam. Come back to him. As the Lord, I re I know I've done this. Que non lui, en lui disant que c'est moi qui ai fait le péché. Je demande de ton pardon envers moi. No wonder David is one of the wisest human being. David a été l'homme le plus sage de la planète. He said, "Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation." He knew that he has wronged God. He said, "Take not your Holy Spirit away from me." But restore unto me. What is the joy of salvation? Is the relationship with the Lord? What is the joy of salvation? Is that communication with Him? Is the fellowship with Him? Is His presence? Because you know, without your, the presence of God, you cannot do anything. David, God, I am finished. Without His presence, I am done. Lord, restore to me the joy of Thy salvation. Sans ta présence, je suis fini. Éternel, restaure la joie de mon salut. David avait su que sans l'Éternel, il est fini. I am done. I am finished without your presence. Sans l'Éternel, sans la présence de l'Éternel, je suis fini. Amen. Amen. Let's go quickly. Allons rapidement. Because of our time to Exodus. Exode. Exodus thirty-three. Exode. This is another man that I love so much. Exodus thirty-three. Exodus thirty-three. This is another man that I love so much. Exodus thirty-three. His name is Moses. Moses has sinned so much 
signs and wonders that the yes. Lord has done. Moïse a vu des miracles, des miracles terribles que l'Éternel a accompli. But Moses knew Moïse savait that his mercies are new every morning. Et le merci de grâce de l'Éternel il se renouvelle chaque matin. Moses knew that is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. A su que le Dieu de hier est le même que le Dieu éternel. But Moses knew that his approach is changes. Mais Moïse a reconnu que la poche de l'Éternel peut changer. Remember when I was telling you guys that I used to sleep in the house and I'll find someone, something will open my door and tap me. That was the dimension at that time. Amen. Do you know that dimension, sis? He doesn't come in again and tap me on the shoulder and wake me up. Moses understand that God comes in dimension. Amen. How God comes to you two years ago might not be the same way. So if you're waiting for him to speak to you that same way, he will come and you will miss God. Yes. Amen. Moses realized that. And this is what Moses did. In Exodus 33, chapter 12. Sorry, 33, verse 12. And Moses said to the Lord, See, you said to me, Bring up these people. But you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name. Et tu as dit que tu me connais par mon nom. And you have also found grace in my sight. Et tu as trouvé la grâce à mon devant mon fils. Now therefore I pray. Maintenant je prie. If I have found grace in your sight. Comme je trouvé la grâce devant mon fils. Show me now your way. Montre-moi.